Hello and welcome. You're listening to Utilitas Energy Matters podcast. My name is Martin Long. And my name's James Rose, and it's here we speak to people across the business to give you more information about the energy matters that matter to you. Yes, we're here to answer your questions, the things you ask us about the most, and anything we think you should know about too. This is Energy Matters podcast number one, and we're asking the question, what are the benefits of smart meters? So not only are we the first energy supplier to do a customer podcast, but did you know we were also the first supplier to install the smart meter here in the UK? Not everyone will know that. That's right. And we're going to speak to someone now who knows all there is to know about our smart meters. He's been with the business long enough to have seen and probably been involved in delivering just about every new feature and innovation we've introduced. So welcome to Chris Downs from our operations team. Hi, Chris. Thanks for joining us today. Hi, guys. Pleased to be able to help. Yeah, so, Chris, so smart meters, for anyone that doesn't know or maybe hasn't had their meter installed yet, what would you say are the main benefits? Um, ease of use, uh, definitely being one. I know that people don't really want to be dealing with their meters. Traditionally, having to go down the shops, top up. Actually, what we can do now, and it's been really good through lockdown, is... We can use our tech, uh, we can top up on the apps, top up online, top up via text, uh, via the phone. Um, there's a whole whole range of things. Um, plus then you couple that in with the ability for us to, to help you guys, help the guys at home with their energy usage. You know, we can see where people are using uh, too much and we can offer, offer them some help um, uh, and just, just help them to save money. You know, the, the cleanest, the the cheapest energy is the energy you don't use, um, as Bill Bullen loves to say, and it's definitely true. And the more that we can help there, uh, especially with this meter in type, um, the better, really. Hmm. So at the moment, there's still a lot of people using this to have those key and card meters where, like you say, they have to actually head down the shop, get money put on those. But now they don't even have to leave their homes. No, no, it's all done, all done electronically, all done remotely. Um, you don't even need a physical, a physical key or card. It's all on your phone, it's all on email, you can just take it, you know, just do it online, but you can top up within 10 seconds. Uh, you know, we've also got features that we've got with uh, automated top ups that will just go straight through. Um, it's just, it's completely different so, to when we started installing our smart meters. It's completely different now, um, but a much, much better journey for the customer. So, so Chris, just, just to confirm here, there's actually sort of, you know, five or six different ways of topping up. So you can do it via the My Utilitar app, uh, our award-winning app, I hasten to add, <laughs> yeah. um, online via our website, by, mm -hmm. by text message um, over the phone via our automated top-up line, or you can yeah. still go to the shop if you want to risk, uh, risk popping out during these uh, troubled times. Isn't it? You know, the feedback that, that we've certainly seen across the board um, service-wise is that the customers really love the, the different range. You know, there will be people that want to go, go out and engage with the community and, and see their local and support their local shops. And that's brilliant. We can cater for those guys, but also the guys that, have, uh, you know, have had to, to stay inside. We're there for them as well, trying to make it as easy as possible to do that. You know, we've got the new, you know, the payments through My Utilita, um we've we've made that faster and faster and, and, and easier and saving card details and there's more things in the pipeline to make that even quicker and aside from topping up as well um you also get the in-home display which everyone will receive so they can actually keep an eye on how much energy they're using not just how much they're spending yes no definitely the in-home display is, is invaluable and so what we've done is replicate that in my utilitor so uh, in the app itself you can see your usage um uh, over the past week uh, both in in kilowatt hours and cost <laughs> and it's just it's just a way that we can ensure that the customer is seeing exactly you know how much is it going to cost me to put that kettle on how much is it, how much am i using on my heating and and enable us to just um just help them to save money and when we talk about you can see it in kilowatt hours or all the straight cost i mean that cost is in pounds and pence isn't it it is yeah yeah so uh, the easiest way to explain it is, is is the pounds and pence. A kilowatt hour is just the amount that the uh, the meter takes in order to to boil that kettle, for example. So, you know, it might take two kilowatt hours to boil a kettle, um, but what the in-home display will do is break that down and show you the pence that it costs you 
to make that. So from a customer viewpoint, you don't really need to worry about the kilowatt hours. It is, it is when what people care about is the cost, which is why that we give people the options. We show the views on the, on the app and on the in-home display, they default to cost. Um, so that's what you guys will see at home. So would you say with the app that could almost replace the IHD? It does the same, it has the same functionality. Um, yeah, yeah, uh, it, it, it does. Um, the only thing that, that the app doesn't offer at the moment is um, the ability to reconnect your supplies. So um, right. if the supplies go off for safety reasons, um, you need to go outside and press your meter to get the to get the gas back on. And that's just to make sure that, you know, all your gas appliances are off. Um, and so, you know, so that's, a, that's a safety feature that is for all suppliers. Um, but everything else is, is probably above and beyond on the app compared to the in-home display. No matter where you are, you can see exactly where your energy is at, where your power is at. You can top up if you're low. You know, we've got a new winter savings uh, feature as well, which would be really, really useful for, for a lot of people. So like all of us, we spend more money uh, when it gets cold uh, because we have to put our heating on. Um, what we've introduced uh, in the last few months, and it's been really successful, and a lot of people are taking it up, um, is kind of a winter savings scheme. So you can say, right, I'd normally top up £10 in the winter. But in the summer, I'd top up £5, but what I'm going to do is put £5 towards my future uh, energy use. And when it gets cold, I've got some savings there that I can just draw down. And that is on, that's on the app, and you can just manage it all there um and move it around again something that is on the app only not on the in-home display and, and just a couple of other things very quickly chris i mean they're rather simple to install aren't they typically there may be you know in the hall cupboard under the stairs or or you know just just outside your property yep no it, it's yeah free free for everyone i know some suppliers charge but we definitely don't um we, we want to give you guys at home the best possible service and, and, and the metering kit is one of those things um the typical installation takes less than an hour um our guys are absolutely brilliant in the field and they've they've got the process down to be as safe as possible um but to impact you as, as little as possible as well so whatever you wherever you have your meters currently we'll be able to put them in um and swap them over it's a really really good bit of kit uh, it's got a keypad, so worst comes to worst, and you need to go to your meter to, to, to do something if signal drops or anything like that, um, and, and your top ups don't go on. You can just type it in using a keypad. So, um, you know, we've tried to cover all bases and make it as, as easy as possible to use so that they don't impact you, you know, and actually we want the interaction with us to be through the app or online and not through the meter itself. Another one of the, the features that we have are the uh, friendly credit and emergency credit. Could you give a brief overview on those? So friendly credit, um, we won't effectively, if you run out of money, our friendly credit runs from 2pm uh, until 10am the next day. We won't cut you off and you'll have power, you'll have energy throughout the weekend at the times when you most need it, when it's dark or when it's cold overnight. What that means is come the next day, uh, if you're in into uh, negative, um, then you'll need to top up uh, and bring that back or you can access our emergency credit. Our emergency credit is £15 on both meters um, and we effectively say we, we understand it, it can be a bit tight or you might be waiting for the next uh, next payday. Um, we give you access to that feature and that will keep your meter running and won't cut off as long as you know once it's activated until you've used your £15 up on both meters uh, and then you just have to pay it back but it's it's something that again differentiates itself from from the older key meters you know typically all we could put on those were, were five pounds and this is just something that helps the customer in those times when it can be a bit tight you know one of the other benefits um because they so closely monitor your energy usage is you don't have to worry about any more estimated bills we hear phrases like you know seeing equals saving um you know can you explain a bit about this you know almost the way uh, smart meters and your IHD or the my utility app sort of helps you you know helps make the invisible visible so to speak yeah I think um, certainly speaking from personal experience you know actually it has um, has changed my behaviors of having a having a smart meter installed you know when you see your in-home display uh, having a red light on you know you can set your target of, of what you determine to be too much usage uh, you know I want to hit two pounds a day that's what I want to spend on my electric or my gas if you're on track to, to meet that it'll be green if it could be a bit you know it, it could be a bit dubious based on what you're currently using um, it'll, it'll show uh, amber 
and if not it will show a red if it if your current usage would take you over that actually seeing the impact of that it brings it to life um you know actually what does that flick of a switch do okay it does x y and z and i can see that it, that's going to impact my pocket because that's going to cost me more money and i'm going to have to top up i can then go into my app and, and look and see my usage in more granular detail and say right okay i used four pounds yesterday okay what what did i do and then that makes me think about my actual behaviors and you know i might go and say to my other half can we make sure that we turn these lights off or, or just something like that and i think just having that visibility which is something that we've never really had before um in the energy world until smart metering it is revolutionary you know it's it's something and the only way that we can make a difference um is by changing our habits and changing our usage and if we know where we're spending too much in our own heads um rather than us as a company saying this is what people should be using actually our technology gives gives you guys at home the ability to to determine what you class as too much so i think that that coupled with with the technology we offer is 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 great we, we are working on some things um whereby we'll have a usage pack um and also we're working on a on an offering that's in the pipeline uh to to kind of give you more granular details so that you can see what what effectively what electric items are are you using a lot uh, with gas it's a bit harder because really you've got your boiler or your heating uh for your heating or your cooking um and they're the two big gas guzzlers um but then you've got a lot of different things in the electric world so i would say uh, you know uh, keep an eye out for uh, for the new things coming through from us in, in that regards safe to say there's a lot of benefits to having a, a smart meter with us that's one of our key things and, and you know that's that's where you get the full utility experience and you get you get the savings that that you want thanks chris well really good listening to you uh today um i think martin and myself i think we've both learned some uh, new things no worries that was energy matters thank you for listening and if you still need to book your smart meter install just visit utilita.co.uk and select installation in our help section and remember, if you haven't already, make sure you download our award-winning My Utilita app and control your energy anywhere, anytime. It's available from the App Store and Google Play. All information was correct at time of recording.